What's good friends, I hope you're keeping well. I'm Val Bartler, AKA Mr. Whisper on the internet. Thank you so much for joining me for another video and I know it's been a minute since my last. So first up, I wanna give a very warm welcome to all my new subscribers and a huge shout out to everyone else for hanging in there. Now, for those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that I've been a Fujifilm user since day one. In fact, I picked up the X-T1 on the day of its release, followed by the X-T2 and now the X-T3. Oh, and it's definitely worth mentioning that during my eight year journey with the X-T range, that my most predominant lens used has been the incredible 35 f 1.4. So when Fujifilm invited me to test out the new XF 33mm f 1.4, not only was I incredibly honored, but I was super intrigued to see how this new lens might knock off my beloved 35mm off its pedestal. So let's roll back six months to where this story begins. Back in late September 2021, Fujifilm loaned me a sample 33mm lens along with an X-T4 body for a couple of weeks. As a result of all the excitement, today's street POV was made almost immediately after picking up the lens from the Fujifilm House of Photography. I will be doing a full review of my six months on with the 33mm as one of my upcoming videos, but in the meantime, I just needed to get this video off my chest. Like I said, I filmed it six months ago. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that I started to do this thing where I will give myself a brief when heading out on one of my POVs. And today's is no different because I had a very subtle brief in mind for this. And that being, I needed to come back home with one image that I was willing to sell as a print in my print shop. Just one, no pressure or a lot of pressure, depending on how you look at it. But yes, that was today's brief. Secondly, um, I've had a little bit of change of equipment. Uh, back in late September, again, the uh, GoPro released the Hero 10, so I thought I'd pick that up. I was finding my gimbal and you know camera in the other hand a very cumbersome setup, as well as I felt like I was sacrificing image quality, especially in low light, where you know stabilization is everything, and um, you know using it with one hand at night isn't ideal. Although when you look at the images, you know, everything was handled quite well. However, now with the new setup, with the GoPro just on top of the camera or shoulder mounted, as in this video, this is so liberating for me. Um, I just feel the freedom that I can do exactly as I, as I please. It's also a lot more discreet. So, you know, potentially getting better shops, um, stuff that, you know, are closer to things that I would capture without having a camera with me recording what I'm doing. So I'm happy with the setup. Um, obviously the quality isn't as good as like a 4K um, mobile phone, which is what I was using before, but you still, the story is told, you get to see the behind the scenes, and as a result, I'm getting better images out of it. So it's a win-win-win for me, really. And you, of course, because I'm making the video. Just kidding. So, lastly, tonight's POV takes place in all my usual hotspots around central London and the West End. After the POV, I'll be sharing my thoughts on how the lens performed during the evening by sharing my three favorite images, and hopefully one of those images will be good enough to sit as a print in my print shop. Enjoy the video, friends.
I hope you enjoyed my little adventure as much as I did making it. And I got to say the 33mm was an absolute pleasure to shoot with. And here's my three favourite images from the evening. Why? Because these are the images that I felt I immediately connected with and I can remember the adrenaline rush of visualising, anticipating and then actually capturing the moment in my mind's eye. That made those images extra rewarding. So, number one. I call this one thirsty work and I can remember, and you can see it also from the POV, um, that I, I kind of caught a glimpse of the taxi driver in the traffic jam. So the fact that he was approaching it, I saw the big Batlick notice board and I thought that could be, that could make an incredible um, silhouette, especially with the taxi sign as well. I think there's some lovely abstract angles all kind of framed within this square in the background, which definitely hit it into my top three, uh, and I hope you agree. Number two, let's open up London. Again, timing was of the essence, and the image was all about time stamping the fact that we had just moved out of lockdown, signified by the huge Piccadilly screen with the government campaign of the time, message reading, let's open up London. So. I camped out at this low POV and what I wanted to do was capture some footwear which would encapsulate the message even further. Then lo and behold, after about a couple of minutes, these two ladies came along in their dazzling footwear. They just fitted with the moment and really helped emphasize the message which I was trying to convey. So this was another one of my favorite images. Last but by no means least, the lady in red. Now, as every street photographer knows, when confronted by a hat, you seem to instantly turn into this overexcited puppy on the spot. Well, at least that's what I tend to do. However, this time, thankfully, due to the traffic lights, I was able to compose my image more carefully and managed to place her hat nicely in between the two moving buses. Set at f1.4, this created some spectacular subject isolation. I also love her wisp of hair that's just caught by the headlights of the bus, which feels so delicate. Overall, you really get a sense of the energy of the city by night, which is something I'm constantly trying to document. If you've seen my recent Print to Prove It campaign with Fujifilm, which I'll link below, then you'll know which image I selected for my print shop. I love all three images, however, Let's Open Up London edges the others by the story it tells. It holds some historical value. COVID-19 had a huge impact worldwide, making the end of lockdown a really significant moment in the history of London. Definitely worth documenting and celebrating and my reason for choosing this image. Although in all honesty, the lady in red is my favorite aesthetically, so that might make an appearance in the print shop too. I really hope you found today's video useful. The six month in-depth review of the 33 lens is coming soon. So if that's of interest or street photography in general or London lifestyle, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification button if you don't wanna miss upcoming videos and tap the like if you felt this video was helpful. All right guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.